Welcome back to This Week in the Mohawk Valley. It's time for the Central New York Travel Show portion of today's program. And we say good morning to Sarah Foster from Oneida County Tourism. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Good. Uh, thanks for having me. Great uh, to have you with us. And uh, yeah. 4th of July, right around the corner, we're going to talk about a little uh, parade and celebration happening yes, in Utica. Yes, uh, I can't believe it's already almost the 4th of July parade, but we are joined today by Ray Durso, uh, Executive Director of the Genesis Group, who we love working with. And uh, we're here to talk about the 4th of July parade. Welcome, Ray. Thank you, Sarah. It's always a pleasure to be here. Good morning to you, Jim, and I uh, appreciate the opportunity always to come on and talk about the community and what we are uh, doing with the community. And the Genesis Group is very uh, happy to sponsor with the city of Utica uh, and many other uh, businesses who help support us uh, to make this happen. So, you know, July 4th, it's a Monday this year, uh, 11 a.m. We start off the day with uh, the annual 4th of July parade, and we encourage people uh, to come out and watch. You know, certainly we are, are very fortunate to get a lot of people who like to be in the in the parade. Yeah. But it's really our message is to the community, and whether you live in Utica, Rome, Herkimer County, no matter where you are in the Mohawk Valley region, we're asking you this year, be patriotic. Come out, show your community support, and come out and watch the parade. There's a lot of things going on in our world, yeah. and we really need to take out some take some time out to enjoy family time. Appreciate it, right? Appreciate our community and uh, we really encourage people to come and, and watch. That's great. So, um, uh, first of all, it's great that it's on a Monday because now it's like the end of a long weekend. So if people are doing their thing earlier in the weekend, they'll be back by Monday. It's a great time to come out. Um, like you were saying, you know, the community spirit, maybe it could be a nice little warm up for the Boilermaker, have everyone start, you know, getting ready for that be out in the streets. <laughs> yep, and you know, it's funny you say that it's on a Monday because we have found doing these over the years that when parades are held on a Monday through Friday, the attendance is it's a lot higher because people yeah. do tend to be away they travel for sometimes. And Sunday, but they have to go back to work exactly. the next day. So, <laughs> you know, you'll be here. And plus, a lot of people are here that don't have the opportunity to go away. So it's really an opportunity to come out, wear red, white, and blue, mm -hmm. and come out and show, show your spirit. Your so 11 o'clock, the parade kicks off on the streets of, of Genesee Street, South Utica. We use the Church of Our Lady of Lords as our staging area. We appreciate the great support of Father Joe Salerno at Lord. Uh, he allows us to use the entire church property, and a lot of the city streets around the church are going to be closed off. We stage right in front of the hospital and, and the church on Jenny. We go north on Genesee Street to the Memorial Parkway. We turn right onto the parkway, and we end at the Recreation Center at Oneida Street. So it's about okay. a, a mile and a half, yeah. but it's a great uh, route, and it's, it's really distance. there's a lot of side streets that allow for people to park and to be able to walk up mm -hmm. to Genesee Street. Well, that's great. How many uh, people participate in the walking part portion of the parade? I will tell you, between floats and walkers and vehicles and marching bands, we're up to about 165 wow. groups. The parade continues to grow, and that's really a reflection of our region, and it's really yeah. nice to see that. And, you know, we put the invitation out that it's a it's a free opportunity not only to show your community spirit, but to showcase your, your organization, yeah. your business. And we're very, very pleased that the response has been tremendous. That's great. Um, we have six bands this year, and really, uh, you know, not only local, but from Syracuse, from Canada. Um, so everyone's have, catching on. We <laughs> have Miss New York coming. We have Miss Syracuse coming. Wow. We have Miss Syracuse Orange coming. <laughs> so a lot of different uh, uh, treats. Cool. But uh, the parade will be led by our Grand Marshal, Dr. Mark Montgomery, um, who uh, uh, works at Alfred University, but also is the pioneer behind the Joseph's experience, uh, really working with families who have children uh, affected by a disease. Mark has done, done a great job with that and, and educational and uh, support for families. So we're very happy to have him lead our parade. So between your non-for-profits, your business, your community, uh, your school districts, colleges, Boy Scouts, baseball teams, yeah. we're really pleased to be able to showcase um, you That's know what cool. we have. Is there, is there still an opportunity if people want to join? Yes, there is. You know, we certainly take uh, applications Right up until the morning of the parade. Okay. No one is allowed in the parade unless they fill out an application and we have them registered. And that's for liability purposes. Yeah. But we certainly uh, will take people right up and it's free again. So. Okay. Great. Now, I know um, th the parade is awesome. It's very exciting. That's first. But then there is something that happens after the parade. Why yep. don't you talk about that? Yep. And, and all this information, whether it's re regarding the parade or the events later, can all be found at July. 
the number four utica.com so okay. july the number four utica.com uh, after the parade ends we allow people to you know pretty much go back to their house they have their family barbecues and you know enjoy quality family time and then people will gather in the evening 6 p.m at ft proctor park on culver ave in east utica and from 6 to 10 we have what's called the party in the park we have food and beverage vendors and many of the food trucks uh, yeah, in we the were area. Yeah, talking about those food trucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and many of the food trucks that we have been seeing more and more around the community uh, will gather and they'll offer different types of, of food from gyros to steak sandwiches to hamburgers to hot dogs, <laughs> pizza and ice cream and yeah. uh, funnel cakes, whatever it is that's the summer treat. You're bound to see that. Uh, at Proctor Park, and I say between six and you know, right off kicking off at six, you'll have the food. Uh, we'll also have from Hearts Hill Inn is sponsoring our beverage court, and they will have not only all of our local flavored beers, but they'll also have wine this year. Nice. So, uh, Scott, Catering to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Scott and Dan Lecoric, we're really appreciative of their support. Uh, they run the the beer court and, uh, and you know, introducing wine this year. We also That's have great. bounce houses uh, from James uh, Entertainment. Uh, we'll have at least seven or eight bounce houses for kids, uh, mm -hmm. and that's been a really fun attraction. Uh, 7 p.m., we're really excited this year to have our uh, our local sensation who appeared yeah. on the NBC's The uh, Voice, uh, Ryan Quinn. He'll be performing that's awesome. Yep, at 7 p.m. <laughs> and following Ryan will be a local favorite classified. So, um we're well, really that sounds excited. awesome. Yeah, those are some well-known names. <laughs> We're very fortunate, and that's you know that's where the, help, the we get the help of the sponsors. Yeah, uh, they help us uh, be able to afford the entertainment uh, because we want to deliver a quality product for our community. Right, that's, that's the goal. It really it sounds like an awesome event. I think you know again being on a Monday this year people are winding down and you still you give people time to do their family thing if they're going to barbecue or cookout going to swim but then come back out after the parade further support the community there are lo local businesses and food trucks and vendors that are there plus live music and fireworks the fireworks the main event <laughs> the big uh, event at 9 30 um it's it's a really uh if you've never seen it before it's a sight to see proctor park filled with five thousand plus people oh my gosh and yeah. it's really uh, an amazing sight that you'd see something in central park but just on a smaller version mm -hmm. you see the entire park uh filled with people so 9 30 there will be a 25 minute show from american fireworks and they do a wonderful wonderful That's job awesome. to be right underneath uh, the sky lit up and um you know we're really fortunate so a couple of um, uh, side notes is that uh, if people don't want to come right down to the park to, to look for parking, um, we're very fortunate to have MVCC uh, allowing us to use their campus. Centro is okay. offering free shuttle, so from 5.30 on, people can park at the campus of Mohawk Valley Community College on Sherman Drive and uh, park their car, take the free shuttle offered by Centro. It'll drop you off right at the front of the park, pick you right up. And we really appreciate That's all the perfect. services from the city of Utica, the police department, the fire department, the parks department it's a very very large event you know yeah. and i think about what goes into the boilermaker and you know this is probably one of the, the second largest event because yeah. it involves so many people and so many services so our hats are like to a week away <laughs> yeah yeah we're getting yeah we're getting well it's there, great so. to see the community come together and our, the, just all the partnerships and i know every it's a very exciting time in the region and in utica so this yeah. is just kind of playing further into it and, mm. the, and the weather has been great the last Knock couple of weekends wood. so you know you know, we're, we're fortunate that the weather uh, will hold out. And again, it's a privilege for the Genesis Group to, to be the organizer because yeah. this is aligned with our mission, bringing together people from around the region to promote, celebrate, recognize the great things we have in our region. We're honored to be a part Perfect. of it. So. Well, thank you, Ray. Um, one more time, the website, if people want more information it's or want to be in the parade. Simply www july the number four utica.com and you can go to that site for information about the parade being a vendor and any uh, questions that you might have great thanks ray thank you sir i appreciate that